This is News 3 Sports. Day two of the Greater Egyptian Conference doesn't affect standings, but it is a tournament that's been going on for years. Lots of bragging rights go with this one. So let's head on out to Southeastern Illinois College. And here we go, the first game, the three seed, Hardin County taking on the six seed, Gallatin County. Fourth quarter, Gallatin up two. Gunnar Wilson, the drive and kick out the Case Rister, finds an open lane for two. But the Hawks get careless on offense. Jake Vaughn makes some pay, but theft, but finish. Gallatin's lead down to two with about five and a half to go. But Gallatin, they would respond. And this guy's a player, Dawson Hish, a nominee for player of the week, showing us why he was nominated by his coach. And then Hish finds Gunnar Wilson. Watch this. Whoop, up he goes and that falls in somehow, some way. Gallatin pulls off the upset 46-39. It's pretty exciting. We've got a pretty rough start to our year and haven't shown people what we're really capable of. And I think we've got this opportunity to get some, show some people what we've really got. Oh, we were pretty excited. It was second win in a row and rough season so far. And we've been working hard since August and it feels good to finally turn the corner. All right, they play two and in that late game, the two seed Crab Orchard squaring off with the seven seed Thompsonville. Crab Orchard's Keegan Peak, the steal, goes the distance. Love the Euro step. But Thompsonville's got a player of their own, Corbin Fitch. Extra gear. This guy can fly down the court, gets the N1. But Hunter Throgmorton on our all name team right there goes the distance for the Trojans. But Crab Orchard wins big 73 41.